bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This evening, on our Facebook prayer outreach, I would like you to listen to this message, which has blessed thousands of lives. God bless us, you join us in the name of Jesus. Certain structures, certain altars, certain covens, certain gatherings, certain associations, certain deliberations are about to suffer massive disgrace now. And how is that going to happen? There are some Holy Ghost vomited prayers that we want to engage in now. Immediately the process of those prayers start. And I want you to pray it like a mad prophet. There are those here. They are having breakthroughs. But they are lame breakthroughs. They are not strong. If such people will key into these Holy Ghost permitted prayers, within the next 24 hours, the story of their breakthrough shall change. There are those who are here now. The pattern in your family is that nobody shines. Nobody ever shown. But you are here now. The angels are beside you to shine you. But you need to pray this prayers. Don't miss this opportunity. Don't let those angels abandon you to go to other people. There are people here, even as we speak here now, your name is on an evil altar. Anywhere they take your name to, they take your company to, nothing goes well. The prayers we are about to start now, we will draw your names from the altars. And replace your name with their names. This is a very serious matter. And I want you to take it seriously. There are some aggressive angels that are here. They are here with the souls of fire. There are people here. The enemy spoke death to your account. He spoke death unto your business. It is time for the resurrection voice to speak to those structures. Even under the process of this prayer starts, some five people will not be able to stand again on their feet. Why? Because their virtues were transferred. And the transferred virtues have been taken back. Those who are here, and you have been having confusing and unprogressive dreams, and suffering from witchcraft barriers, please, don't joke with these prayers. Anyone who is tired of poverty should not joke with these prayers. Anyone who wants to rewrite family history should not joke with these prayers. It is likely that this is the prayer your destiny has been waiting for. So don't joke with it. Plenty of prayers to pray in a few minutes. And plenty of transactions in a few minutes. Organs will be taken out of the body and the correct one shall be put there. Arrows shall be removed from the body and arrows shall go back to their centers. Can you shout this loud and clear? Pass of rise and fall. Die in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and stand against the power. Papata Satelika. Jesus, then we pray. Aha! I told you we don't have time. So you must pray on time when you hear me. Vulture of darkness! Of my father's house! You are a liar! Die! In the name of Jesus! Master Chenda Kayabo Shanda! Open your mouth and stand against the voice of darkness. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray.
Makatenda ya Boshenteraba. Ribasa pia lika lika. In Jesus name we pray. Ancient strong man. Shout it loud. Assign to waste my life. Yes, 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 yes. This is not a day to negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. Every power assigned to attack my health. And I hear the sisters shouting this. Brothers, can I hear you shouting this? Your time is up. Die! In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Jesus name we pray any strange material in my body can you shout it loud disappear in the name of Jesus yes Jesus, then we pray. Let there be silence now. Some spiritual surgery is about to start. Thank you, Jesus. Father, as many as are here tonight, and the virtues have been stolen, and there is constant sickness, very, very painful menstruation, dreams of defeat. Arrows of depression where they are standing now. Let your angels at a station beside them begin to take out what should be taken out, begin to draw out what should be drawn out, begin to shake to pieces what should be shaken to pieces in the name of Jesus. That's number one, that's number two, that's number three, that's number four. rage of the enemy against the health of anyone here. I command the rage to scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter, 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 scatter. In the name of Jesus. You cancer, I command you to dry up in the name of Jesus. You the arrow of evil and shake. I command you to vanish in the name of Jesus. The heavy load upon the head, heavy load inside the eyes, the heavy load inside the stomach, the heavy load inside the legs, the heavy load inside the back. Right now, you the owners of the evil load, carry your load in the name of Jesus. Carry your load. 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 In the name of Jesus. Aha. Silence now. Focus your attention on Jesus. Yes. Powers turning your intestine upside down. Powers cooking your organs in the coven. They are about to lose their hold completely. Silence now. Focus your attention on Jesus. Yes, bro. Can all the fetters? Yes, bro. Can all the fetters? Yes, 
had broken all the feathers He has set me free He has broken all the feathers He has broken all the feathers He has broken all the feathers He has set me free I will sing Hallelujah I will sing Hallelujah I will sing Hallelujah He has said The name, the name of Jesus is greater and other all names. It is not an ordinary name. It is a name that's full of power and At his name, all see Sickness is bound. Demons tremble at the sound of that name. It is not an ordinary name. It is a name that's full of power. That's the fire. That's the power. That's the fire. That's the power. That's the fire. That's the power. Let's go. Let's go. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every luggage place on that head that is making your head heavy making your legs heavy I bind them and cast them out in the name of Jesus yes do what you could not do with that head now do what you could not do with that leg every arrow fired into the eyes fired into the armpit fired into the breast I bind you and I cast you out in the name of Jesus Check your body now. Do what you could not do before. And once you know that the Lord has healed you, run quickly to this altar. Don't let the devil put it back on you. That's right. Every evil flow coming after that woman, I command you to terminate. In the name of Jesus, stretch your right hand towards this altar. Father, let your fire and your power fall upon this hand. Let your healing anointing flow upon these hands. As you smite, every luggage of the enemy shall go back to the sender. In the name of Jesus, smite anywhere that is paining you that will have trouble. Smite it 21 times, shouting, expire in the name of Jesus. Let's go! Do it well, do it well. It's happening, it's happening. Do it well, do it well. Something is going on over there. That's the power of God coming upon you. Yes, enough is enough. Lose your hold from this life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Check your body now. Check it very well. Things have happened. Things have happened. 
Once you know that the infirmity you brought has vanished, run quickly to this altar. Don't let the devil put the problem back on you. Run very quickly to this altar. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Silence. Aha. You can't hide. You have been hiding for years in the womb, in the stomach. But right there where you are tonight, your time is up. I command a volcanic eruption of the power of God inside the womb, inside the stomach, inside the head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Check your body, check your body. Look at what has happened. Use that leg you cannot use. Bend that place you cannot bend. That is the power of God coming upon you. That is the power of God coming upon you. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You, that sister over there, I bind the envelope of sickness that is giving you constant sickness. In the name of Jesus. Aha, aha. Shout this loud and clear. Dreams of failure. I am not your candidate. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the dreams of failure. Today is today. You must not negotiate. This is not a day to negotiate. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. If you don't like this next prayer, please keep quiet. Every mockery of the enemy pretending to love me can you shout this loud? Your voice is not loud enough. God! In the name of Jesus, kill the mockery. Oh yes! Oh yes! Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus, then we pray. The manifestation of this next prayer will start tonight. Every evil bird crying against the glory of my star. Can I hear you saying this loud? Is that the loudest you can shout it? Oh yes! Kill the birds! Somebody is breaking through! Somebody is breaking through! Continue! 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 In Jesus' name we pray! There are three orphans here. 
three orphans. The Lord said, I should tell you that before this year runs to an end, it will take you to places that will shock your enemies. <laughs> and listen to this the powers that killed your parents and they are running after you, they have been buried tonight. Sing this song loud and clear. Let nobody's voice be louder than yours. You are singing it only once. But let nobody's voice be louder than yours. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Unto thee, O Lord, do I Thank you, Jesus. Father, we cover the signs and wonders with the blood of Jesus. Affliction will never arise again in Jesus' name. Could you please pick any song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. To him who dwelt great things. How great is his name? How great is his love for whatever they say? Amen. Oh, you go to me, Yanda, 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 to open our understanding and lay your hands upon our lives in Jesus name we pray since we started this program there has been outstanding move of God upon so many lives and I decree upon your life to you that your testimonies shall be huge 
in the name of Jesus. Like I said to you, the purpose of this economic deliverance program is number one, to collect back the lost sweat of your ancestors. Number two, to withdraw the wealth of the godless into your pocket. Number three, to reap even where only un the unbelievers have labored. Four is to acquire the silver and gold stored up by the unrighteous. And number five is to receive triple or more promotions. And I see somebody here, before this time next week, they will announce your promotion. <laughs> number six is to take back several fold every good thing the enemy has told you. Seven, and this is for so many young people here, is to win on common scholarship from distant lands. <laughs> number eight is to buy off materials acquired by the ungodly. And nine is to get for less what the ungodly got for more. And ten is to have businesses that will swallow ungodly businesses. <laughs> that is the agenda of this economic deliverance for the running through. But today, I want to appeal to you to be more aggressive than you have been in this program. Because we want to battle a strange spirit now. A spirit that has converted many pastors to pastors. A spirit that has converted many prophets to parrot. A spirit that has demoted hero to zero. A spirit that has stolen so much from the life of mankind. It is unlikely that we are going to finish those prayers tonight. And we definitely have to continue next week. We are battling with and we are studying what I call the mystery of profitless hard work. Profitless hard work. The mystery of it. That's what you want to contest with. When a man who is 53 years old is appearing at West African Examination Council wanting to sit for school certificate, that is a problem. It is a tragedy. There are people, if the money that passed through their hands had stayed, they will be multi-billionaires now. But the pit of the mystery of profitless hard work has swallowed from so much. Many people are not lazy. Only few people are lazy. That's, that's the honest truth. The majority of the human race work hard. Nigerians are not lazy people. If you go to some countries, there are some Nigerians doing three jobs per day. At night, is a security man. In the day, is a taxi driver. In the evening, is working in the restaurant. And he will still be going to school. Black, a lot of people have been destroyed, demolished by this spirit. In Luke chapter 5, I read from verse 1. Luke chapter 5, from verse 1. And it came to pass as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God. He stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and they were washing their nets. They are closed for the day. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon, and prayed him that he would trust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. He sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Let me just divert a little bit. You see, in the olden days in the Bible, the rabbi who is teaching sits down. Is the student who stand up. Now it is the reverse now. <laughs> it is the teacher who keeps standing up. Why does he sit down? Because you may be wondering, why does Jesus want to sit down when he wants to talk to people? That was the tradition in those days. Now when he left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep, and let down your nets for a drought. And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night, 
and have taken nothing. We have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had this done, they closed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. I'm prophesying on your life that you will encounter a net breaking miracle. Your amen is not loud enough. A net breaking miracle. And when they are this done, they enclose a great motion of fish and their net break. And they beckon unto their partners. They could not handle it alone. Any success you can handle alone is not success. They could not handle it alone. Any business you start, and you're the only one working there, you have not, you don't have a breakthrough yet. When the next break, people will come. And they beckon unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the ships, so that even the ships began to sink. Go to John chapter 21. The gospel according to John chapter 21. Jesus took Peter from this business. He said, Peter, you are presently a fisher of fish, but I will make thee a fisher of men, a greater fisherman. Jesus has been crucified. Something happened again. John chapter 21, verse 1. After this, since Jesus showed himself again to the disciples at the city of Tiberias, and on this wise showed he himself. They were together Simon Peter and Thomas called the Dimos, and Nathanael of Cana in Galilee, and the sons of Zebedee, and two of his disciples. Simon Peter said unto them, After three years of abandoning fishing, I go a fishing. They say unto him, We also go with thee. They went forth and entered into a ship immediately. What happened? And that night they caught nothing. When the morning was now come, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples knew not that it was Jesus. Then Jesus said unto them, Children, have you any meat? They answered him, No. And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. They cast therefore. And now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. Listen, in these situations, these men worked very hard all the time, but they did not gather much, or they gathered nothing. You could not accuse them of laziness. They had nothing to show for that hard work. The spirit of profitless hard work landed on these people. When this spirit troubles a man, you are never commensurately rewarded for your hard work. Work, work like elephants and eat like ants. You could work constantly at trying examinations, but no success. You could work constantly at facing interviews, but no success. A man spent all his savings. And every money is collected for his gratuity to start a poultry. It had plenty of chicken, plenty of things there. One morning he woke up to get to the farm. He found that the farm had caught fire. All things there roasted to nothing. All the hard work gone. Where does it start from now? No money anymore. He had invested everything. As he was looking at the farm, he fell down. He never stood up. The spirit had killed him. Nothing to show for the hard work. Either you are working for public or working or self-employed. In the Bible, they reduce the salary of Jacob ten times. This is a rampant spirit. A spirit of fruitless labor. A spirit of fishing but catching nothing in the ocean of life. A spirit of beating as if one is fighting the air. A spirit of running with uncertainty. A spirit of slippery breakthrough. It is a strange spirit. Strange spirit. 
poverty spirit, anti-prosperity spirit. In the passages we've read, there was failure where it should not have been. These were skilled and experienced fishermen. They were fishing in familiar waters. They were using the right equipment. They had been working at the right time. But that night is the time to catch the fish. They had worked hard all night. They had had success in the past. But now they had failure with no explanation. They did not decide to stop being fishermen. But they were still washing their nets. They fish in unproductive waters. So Jesus' command must have sounded so ridiculous. Why? Asking them to do the very thing they have been doing. They had already fished in the same waters. They had been there all night. They were tired and exhausted. It was the wrong time to say start catching fish. The best time was the night. Now is the day. They were already cleaning up their nets, going home, bringing their families, nothing. I'm sure they didn't want to be insulted to Jesus. <laughs> they will have said, excuse me, sir, what do you know about fishing? A lot of people are working really hard but getting nowhere. A lot of people have spiritual holes in their hands, licking off their blessings. Many are fishing day and night in this ocean of life, but they are catching nothing. A lot of people are dream millionaires. They walk without gain. Many are prospering in poverty. Many labor, but the labor goes to Pharaoh. We need to pray. It's a strange spirit. And when you are praying against this kind of spirit, it's not a spirit you negotiate with. Get yourself ready now. As we pray these prayers, bow down your heads where you are. Father, as many as we pray against this spirit tonight, give them uncommon testimonies in the name of Jesus. Put all their enemies to shame in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Rise to your feet now. Lay your two hands on each other. You will shout unto those hands. You are speaking to your own hands now. My heart! Hear the word of the Lord! Prosper by fire! In the name of Jesus! Masatela Kayaba! Prosper by fire! In the name of Jesus! Jesus, then we pray. Power of profitless hard work of my father's heart. You are a liar. Die. In the name of Jesus, deal with that power now. Jesus, then we pray. Thank you for listening to us this evening. See you tomorrow.